And the world of cheerleading having a moment. Yeah, from a recently released documentary to a docu-series on Netflix and now a scripted series on USA Network. OG joins us now with a look at a new show, and it will really open your yeah, eyes. Yeah, and I'm going to pull an Oprah and go, you get pom <laughs> okay. You get pom right. Everybody gets a pom Because we have something to cheer about, and it's a new series called Dare Me. And although it's got plenty of teen spirit, it also has a lot of drama. Coach saw something in us. She saw past the glitter and the hair and the attitude. Based on the best-selling novel by Megan Abbott, Dare Me is a dark tale about teenage girls, friendships, jealousy, loyalty, and yes, cheerleading. First game is next Friday. What do I see? Spray tans, gummy bear thighs, backyard tumblers. But I don't see a squad. It's sort of about two girls who are best friends in high school, and then they have this new cheer coach come in, and this huge ripple effect occurs, which affects both their friendship and the entire construct of the town that they live in. It all sort of goes a bit haywire. Playing the smart talking, sassy teen Beth is Australian actress Marlo Kelly. Last time I ran this bus, it was to cheer camp last summer. It still smells like Emily's puke. Did you ever think then that we'd make it here? They'd gotten through and now they're kind of heading on to regionals and Addie and Beth at this point in time, their relationship is kind of seeming to get a little bit better, but for how long, who knows? What we do know is that Marlo had no cheerleading experience before shooting Dare Me. So I grew up in Australia and we don't, cheerleading isn't really a big thing. We don't, they didn't have it at my high school, nothing like that. I hadn't really been introduced to it until we did this show. Um, and then when we started, we did like a two week cheer camp before the pilot. And then when we got picked up, we did another. So in total, we did about a month of cheer training. And she also had to trade in her Aussie accent to sound like an American from Ohio. I did a fair bit of dialect training while I was working on some other jobs in Australia, just sort of in the background, doing American accents. We had this really beautiful dialect coach, Ria, who would sit on set with us every day and listen with her headphones and come running in, and give us notes when we made mistakes. And make no mistake, with critics loving Marlo in this role, you can only expect to see more from her. And we will, especially on Sunday nights, because that's when Dare Me airs on USA oh. Network.